Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's vlog, um, we will discuss about energy and particularly we'll be focusing on gravitational potential energy and this lesson was reflected in your module, module 3, quarter 1, module 3, day 1, gravitational potential energies. Alright, so let us now learn together. So, um, as usual, in every vlog that I have, uh, I'll begin with the reading of learning competencies. So, for this lesson particularly, the learning competencies are identify and explain the factors that affect potential and kinetic energy. And of course, the objectives of the lesson, number one, define gravitational potential energy. Next is, Determine the factors that affect the gravitation potential energy gained by an object. And number three, the last one, calculate the gravitational potential energy of an object. And since we're talking about energy, so let me begin a little concept about energy. Well, as we all know, we do some work every day. And normally, when we do some task and work, we need energy. It's very important in our daily lives. In some books, uh, when you read some definitions, energy is defined as the ability to do work or the capacity to do work. And it's true. Whenever we go, uh, whenever we do some things like any task that we do, of course we need energy. That is why energy is very important for us to perform our work. Though we cannot see most of the time energy, but energy is everywhere. Energy surrounds us. Initials energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Um, it can be transformed, transferred to another form of energy so that's that's true all forms of energy can be either of two states and one is kinetic energy and the other one is potential energy but our lesson for today is uh, focusing on gravitational potential energy and that is why we need to learn or we need to differentiate or find out what is this gravitational potential energy is this different from potential energy so that is one of the point that we need to find out in this lesson there are a lot of questions about energy so how is all energy divided energy is being divided in two major classifications or types we have potential energy and kinetic energy but under potential energy it was being classified into three forms we have first gravitational potential energy second elastic potential energy and the third one is chemical potential energy but again for this lesson we will be concentrating more about gravitational potential energy in the beginning of the discussion i mentioned about potential energy so we will define now what is potential energy based on the on research so potential energy is energy that is stored and waiting to be used later for example in a real life situation you say something to your friend you have a potential to become a basketball player you have a potential to become a good writer so you're using the word potential meaning to say that there is something stored in himself so he has this talent or skills that he can use for him to become a good basketball player a good writer or anything that he wanted to do in his life um i mentioned that um our topic will be focusing our topic is more on gravitational potential energy so, gravitational potential energy is the energy stored in an object due to its position above the Earth's surface so the main difference is that in potential energy we only mention that it is a stored energy but um, in gravitational potential energy we added the term or this um, concept object due to its position above the Earth's surface where are actually are relating to height so meaning to say potential energy due to an object's position again gravitational potential energy is is a kind of potential energy due to an object's position and because of that the game of physication we have e sub p is equal to mgh uh, or there are also equations that you can find in other book like um, gpe is equal to mg H or mass times acceleration due to gravity and height and to give you a clearer understanding of what is this all about so we have this um, representation for M obviously referring to mass which is expressed in kilo which is expressed in kilogram or kg for G we have gravitational field strength or simply means 
acceleration due to gravity and it has a constant value of 9.8 meter per second squared. H represents height in terms of meter. The E sub V is the one referring as E sub V means gravitational potential energy. Here are the examples that will describe what gravitational potential energy is. Alright, in the picture it shows that the green scaler has more gravitational potential energy because he weighs more. Right? And the next, well, as you can see in the picture, the girl is holding a ball and it means that the energy starts as potential energy the moment that she is holding the ball because it has the ability to move but isn't moving yet. So it has a stored energy. It has gravitational energy because once the ball is dropped, it falls due to gravity. So again, let us review. Gravitational potential energy has this concept, right? PE or potential energy is due to gravity. We calculate gravitational potential energy using this formula, right? So we have PE, MGH, or, gravit or PE stands for gravitational potential energy, which is expressed in Joule. M for mass, G for 9.8 meter per second squared on Earth, and H for height above reference level. Okay, why is it that we, why is it that we actually label that one 9.8 meter per second squared on Earth? Because when you go to Moon, as we, as we all know, yeah. gravity will be lesser compared to Earth. So now let's proceed to answering sample problem. All right, let me read the problem one. What is the gravitational potential energy of a 150kg object suspended 5 meters above the Earth's surface? Based on our previous discussion, we are reminded that whenever we are dealing with calculations, we are asked to use GRESA. And GRESA stands for as a review, G stands for given, R for required, E for equation, S for solution, and A for the answer. Do you still remember GRESA? Alright, so you have to because we will be using that one in our calculations. So going back to the problem, of course we have some steps to follow. Step 1. First, we identify the given information provided in the problem. So as we all know, based on the problem, the mass is 150 kg and the height is 5 meters. Those are the given. And for the step 2, we have identify the required information so the required information or simply means what is asked in the problem okay we are asked to find out the gravitational potential energy and for the step three and step three is that of course we need to use the equation and for this equation because we're asked to find out gpe so we are going to use this equation we have gpe is equal to mass times acceleration times height or mgh so again remember that the acceleration due to gravity is always constant on earth and the value is 9.8 meter per second squared and that is on earth okay and the last uh, the next step is solution so again so we have gpe is equal to 150 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second squared times 5 meters and obviously we got the answer GPE is equal to 7350 Joule so maybe you're wondering why is it that we have this Joule so again so we know that in terms of energy the unit of measurement is expressed in terms of Joule um, taken after the name of the scientist James Prescott Joule so that's it so do you have any questions well, if you have some question, you can type in the comment box and I'm willing to address that question. To wrap it up, gravitational potential energy is a kind of um, potential energy relative to its position. So I think we're done. Uh, we already answered objectives. First one, define gravitational potential energy and we did that already. Number two, determine the factors that affect the gravitational potential energy gained by an object so actually we have mass height and acceleration and of course we already calculate the gravitational potential energy of an object i hope that i was able to share and answer the objectives for today 
And most of all, I'm hoping that aside from learning, you're enjoying also watching this video with me, your teacher in science. Alright, so again, this is RM. And bye everyone.